Whitney TV often get invited along to some very exciting and unusual new businesses. One in the middle of Whitney that has recently opened does vital medical work. We're at Woozle Bears. I like the colour pink and I think it stands out and I wanted to be different. Um, I wanted to provide a service to West Oxfordshire that would stand out. Um, I started a business um, very young because I want to do something that I enjoy um, and the more work I put in, the more work I get out and I get huge satisfaction from helping dogs and their owners um, and now that's something I can do. Uh, we've got one of the only aquatic treadmills um, in the area. I don't think there's one um, for several miles, 50, 70 miles away. Um, that's because it's quite a new piece of kit um, and it is quite expensive. Um, but the results that you get out of it um, are, are fantastic and I think it's a brilliant bit of kit to have and I wouldn't want to open the centre without one because it gives us something that's different um, and that no one in our area has got. Um, we've got such a large pool as well because we can swim any size dog, um, which many centres can't do. It means that the dog can have fun and can interact with their owners um, and play with toys and they don't even know that they're doing the, the affected area any good. We spent just under £100,000 um, on the centre um, and I hope over you know, the years to come that it will gradually pay back um, so I'm not overly worried about that. I just want to enjoy what I do um, and yeah, enjoy life and help dogs and owners of Oxfordshire. They can come for swimming in the pool um, they can come for fun, fitness and rehabilitation. They don't just have to come if their dog has got a problem, if their dog's got too much energy, or for large breed puppies that can't exercise um, for long. They can come and exercise in the pool and get rid of all that energy. And we also have the aquatic treadmill, which is for mainly rehabilitation and for fitness, so for maybe wor working dogs. Um, we could put them on a program um, to keep them fit. And we've also got a professional grooming salon here. Oh, I'll do anything from you know a Yorkie right up to a Newfoundland. Um, on Saturday I had a Leonberger whose head came up to my waist. So it is good to have the confidence and um, a nice steady hand with the scissors as well. Um, so they're absolutely fine with it. And if any dogs are nervous, I uh, take my time and introduce them to everything slowly at their own pace so that uh, they can come back here and know that they're just going to have a nice happy pampering day. Here we have our own bathroom facilities and I, just don't, I don't mind the hair being in here, I just sweep it away and it's straight in the bin. Um, and plus you can uh, drop your dog off um, and go off and do your shopping, have a coffee, meet up friends for lunch and not have to worry about the dog. That's our drying cabinet. Um, it basically just, you put the dogs in there and it dries them. Um, it has a fan in there so it circulates the air um, and they just go in there for 10 minutes and just dry off nicely. It's nice and warm and toasty and they can just have a nice sit down after their bath. Um, so the dogs I've had in there do quite like it in there. Um, I'll only put healthy dogs in there, I won't put any um, dogs for example with epilepsy because heat can bring on a fit so um, when you bring in your dogs I have the clients filling a form with their basic um, health needs so then I know what dogs can and cannot go in there. Um, I've also got that pink hair dryer behind me, it's basically a large canine hydra hair dryer. I'm very pleased with the response we've had from the vets and I just would like everyone to know in Oxfordshire that we're here um, and the, the services that we provide. Um, I've got no plans for moving out of here at the moment um, but who knows what the future will hold. Um, I would quite like to employ another member of staff so that we could, um, so there's only me as the canine hydrotherapist, um, so another member of staff would be nice. Um, but no, we're happy here. Uh, Weasel Bears is our kennel name for our Newfoundlands. Um, we own Newfoundlands and show them nationally. Um, and when we had a litter of puppies last year, um, we had to think of a name that all the puppies um, would have in their um, show names. So we came up with Weasel Bears because my first Newfoundland we call Weasel um, and they are like little bears. So that's where that came from and I wanted to follow it through. 